to enable that org presents mathematical literacy parameter combined questions we often get combined shapes but how should we handle it well just consider the shape shapes and add the sides calculate the perimeter of the following shape this shape consists out of a rectangle and a triangle see and we know that the opposite sides of a, of a rectangle are equal so therefore there we have another 14 centimeters and this looks like an equilateral triangle so there's another six now it's fairly straightforward the perimeter is 14 plus 6 plus 6 plus 14 plus 9 centimeters and that gives us 49 centimeters calculate the perimeter of the following shape it's not really necessary to consider of what this shape is combined we only need to find the missing lengths if that's 7 this should be 7 too and if this is 1 we can see that there's symmetry in this shape that is 1 2 and now we're ready to calculate the perimeter 16 plus 1 plus 7 plus 18 plus 7 plus 1 gives us 50 millimeters Calculate the perimeter of the following shape. It's not really necessary to consider of the, of what this shape is um, combined. We only need to find the missing lengths. 16 plus 13 gives us 29 millimeters. So because this is 16 and that is 13, this side is 29 then that side is 29 3 centimeters yeah times 10 is equal to 30 millimeters and we're going to use this 30 millimeters now now 30 millimeters minus 8 millimeters gives us this 12 millimeters and now we just calculate the perimeter by adding the size that we've calculated 12 plus 16 plus 18 plus 13 plus 30 plus 29 gives us 118 millimeters and remember we're now going to add we're adding this 30 millimeters because all the units are millimeters therefore we're working with this side as 30 millimeters and not as 3 centimeters Consider the following combined shape and calculate its perimeter. What does this shape consist of? That's right, a rectangle and a semicircle. Let's find the missing lengths. If this is 25, that should be 25 too. Now, the perimeter is this 25 plus this 14 plus 25 but now we need to get to calculate this diameter of the semicircle now the semicircle is half times pi times diameter okay so it's that diameter that we are calculating now so it's half which we can use on a simple calculator is 0, 0,5 times 3,14 which is the value that we will use by throughout mathematical literacy until we're done with grade 12 times the diameter which is 14 so that gives us 21,994 millimeters now to get the perimeter we do not add the diameter as like when we did the perimeter of a semicircle because this doesn't contribute towards the perimeter of the whole shape so we will only add 25 14 25 and 21,994 and round it that is equal to 85,99 millimeters and that concludes perimeter of combined shapes thank you very much